let's practice model drawing with this particular question that we have done last week. Mr. Lim had some money. The first thing that we have to do is break down the question. So don't read the entire question together and start thinking how to solve it. So first sentence, he had some money. How am I going to draw this particular sum money into a model? I'm going to use an entire box to depict that sum money. Now, the first thing that he do, he spent 154 on a bed. This is the money that he had, and he spent some of it on a bed. So I'm going to call this, and this particular part would be $154. The next step, so I'll put a tick on top. He also spent three eight of the remainder. The key thing is of the remainder. So I'm going to look at this particular part, which is called the remainder, and I shall do something to it. Three eight of the remainder. So I'm going to chop these three, um, this remainder into eight parts. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and they say three eight of the remainder on a printer, which I do not know how much it cost. Then they say he had one third of his money left. Another key thing, so I've done this part. Next part, one third of his money left. So he's trying to say that this remainder parts, which is. One, two, three, four, five units is equals to one third of the money that he has. So, which means he had one third left, and at the beginning he has one whole. So, one whole minus one third, I get two thirds. What does that two third actually mean? This two thirds belongs to this entire part. Because the entire thing will make up into one whole. That is what he had. Okay? Now, let us observe. Look at the remaining parts. The one third, or what we call it. There are five units in one third. Okay? So I'm going to write inside five units. So if one third, there are five units. Another one third would have five units, and another one third would have five units too. So which means two thirds would have how many units? Ten units. Okay? Now, we're going to look on top. You notice I have not even read the entire question yet, but I'm curious to find out what I've drawn here. Okay? So if you notice, there are ten units here, and there are three units that I've drawn. Can you see these three units? So what does it tell you about this part? How many units would there be? So if you look at this part, it's 10 units. And this is 3 units. So $154 would be 7 units. How do I get that 7 units? 10 minus 3 equals to 7. So now I've drawn my model. I go back to the question, okay, and I totally understand the question already because the most important thing is actually this part, one third of his money left, okay, so I compare and now I can jump back to the question and see what the question wants. So first part, what fraction of the money did he spend on the, okay, there is a typo, it's not supposed to be jacket, it's supposed to be, let me see, which one? Um, on the bed okay okay so what what is the fraction of money now we look at the fraction of the money the entire thing it's actually one whole but now we know that there are 15 units okay so 15 units in all and now 15 units in all how many units spent on the jacket 154, 7 units. So I'm going to write 7 on top. And that is my answer. For A, that's all. Everything can be solved using the model. Now let's look at B. 
how much money did he have at first? By looking at the model again, I know that 7 units is equal to 154. So first step, 154 divided by 7. Why? I want to find out 1 unit. So 154 equals to 22. Okay. Now second step. What do I do next? The he have at first, right? So at first, back to my model, there are 15 units in all. 15 units. So I know that one unit is 22. 15 units would be 22 times 15. And you will have answer of $330. And that's my answer.